Well, hello from Twickenham, where Ireland have just completed their captain's run ahead of tomorrow's Women's Six Nations game with England here at Twickenham. I'm joined by Captain Idel McMahon. Idel, how did it go out there? Yeah, no, it was actually really good. It was really sharp. Um, we were quite eager yesterday in our race session. Um, the intent was was really high, so it was nice to get a little finisher and to polish off a couple of things and get a feel for a stadium. So 45, 46,000 tickets already sold. What yeah. is that going to be like for it's, you? It's huge. Like it's, it's, it is the biggest uh, attendance that I've uh, played in, but I think every time I've played in a, luckily enough to be playing in like sold out crowds, uh, um, Leicester Tigers two years ago against England, 15,000, that was unbelievable. Another 15,000 um, against France. And to be honest, the occasion isn't, isn't frightening or daunting at all. It's it's actually quite exciting and it's it's a uh, you don't know you step up to it so it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, I was going to ask you that about that. Like if players were going to be overawed by that at all, like playing against the number one ranked team in the world and then this attendance. No, I, I think um, I think Scott said it before, but like we do kind of get up for these occasions and I think it's brilliant. Like we've had really good crowds in, in Ireland from those, particularly in Virgin Media Park and the RDS like of recent years and. If anything, it's it's really encouraging to play against. It's uh, it's the rise of women's rugby. It's the rise, mm. rise of women's sport, and I think we're actually relishing these occasions and 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 taking them on. Um, you mentioned Scott there. Obviously, he spent eight years as assistant coach with England. What's it like? Uh, how beneficial has been that inside information that he'd have on the England players? And obviously, you'd know <laughs> them as well from playing here in England. Yeah, look, obviously, England are playing a little bit of a different identity than than they're used to. So I think. Um, you know, we know the game that they can fall back on, um, but we are we've we've analysed them and and with Scott and, and a few of the girls, you know, what we're used to in club um, against them. But we've been really focusing on us this week and what we can do to bring that performance from Wales and the work ons from the last few games into this game. Yeah, what has that win over Wales done for you in terms of confidence and that big belief? Because we know how tough this game is going to be uh, tomorrow against England. Yeah, no, it, um, I said it before, like it's it's huge to see the reward for what we've been working so hard on. I think we really attacked that too, that gap week um, for us particularly. It was quite a, a brutal week of training um, to go after the, the I suppose, miss opportunity against Italy. Um, but it's given us that kind of confidence to know that we are working on the right things and that we, we can actually execute them and um, we put in the hard work that it comes to plan. So, uh, yeah, huge confidence coming into the game tomorrow. And you're out on your own in terms of the captaincy tomorrow, obviously. Just you yourself. Um, Sam Monaghan is here. Um, she travelled over the yeah. squad. It's a huge loss not to have her playing tomorrow um, in the second role. Yeah, look, Sam is uh, probably taking on the role that I did um, in the Italy game. So, um, I know she might not be on the pitch with me, but she's helped me do all of the rest of the duties off pitch. And that's that's massive for me. Um, but no, I'm certainly not alone on the pitch. I've got Eve, I've got my PPG team, my leadership team that are helping me make decisions across the park. So I know it'll be it'll be a loss to have Sam, um, but I'm I'm well supported with the girls that are on the yeah. pitch as well. Yeah. And Hannah O'Connor in there Absolutely. in that second yeah. row as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. How, how, how will that work? Um, yeah, Hannah's been brilliant. Like even in the, the French game, she took up the up the role of calling the line out and just having her experience there is is, is another set of ease. Um, so yeah, she's been very good. She's been brilliant the last couple, couple of weeks. Now we know the calibre of this England team. So what will your approach be? Because um, obviously we saw an excellent defensive display um, against against France in the first game. We saw those improvements from last year. We saw how you played against Italy against Wales. What will the approach be against this England team? Just the dominance, you know, we're trying to go after that dominance. Uh, you know, Wales Wales put it to England and we put it to Wales. So again, it's the confidence off the back of that. Like, you know, the, the breakdown was huge for us in, in winning those collisions and getting that fast ruck. And can we do the same against England? Because we did it to Wales who... Who, yeah, who so you take, to, something, you know, from take something from that. Take something from that, absolutely. And, and where can we disrupt them and, and kill their momentum? Because we know they want to play fast. So so how can we get into them as well? And, yeah, and, and make an uncomfortable flow? afternoon absolutely, for them as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, do you feel you can do that? Yeah, that's what we're, that's what we're trying to go after. So, uh, yeah, I think everyone's really excited to, to, to really go at them, yeah. Okay, best of luck tomorrow. Cheers.